Hi everyone, welcome back to We Live A Lot. Today I'm here reviewing the Trekology Aluf Deluxe Pillow. This is a review in a series of reviews that I'm doing um, on backpacking pillows to determine which pillow is the best for your budget and your needs. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and ring that bell so you can get notified when any of these reviews do come out. My last review was on the Trekology 1.0 versus Trekology 2.0, so I was really excited to start testing out the Deluxe model. I purchased this pillow on Amazon. It was $16.99 when I purchased this pillow. I do believe at this point it's around $14.99. I did include the link in the description in case you are interested in adding this pillow to your backpacking setup. I previously reviewed the Trekology 1.0 and 2.0, so I was really pleased with how those pillows performed. So when I was able to start testing out the Deluxe Edition, I was super excited. Um, but I do have to be honest with you, after testing this out the last couple months, I'm not super pleased with the changes that they made. I really thought Trekology did a great job with the 1.0 and also the 2.0 version, but there's a couple features that really let me down with this Deluxe model. One thing that Trekology stayed true to was the size and weight of the backpacking pillow. All right, the Trekology Left Pillow Deluxe, as you can see, is coming in a little bit smaller than a pop can. It's nice, compact, and lightweight. It's about 4.1 ounces, and it folds down to about six by four, which is awesome for backpacking, hiking, throwing it in your hammock, um, and just any day-to-day -day use, which is amazing. One thing that I really like uh, that Trekology implemented on this new deluxe pillow is a lot of times when you have have your sleeping pillow, these little stuff sacks tend to get lost. Um, but they did a great job, and it was the first that I've seen on any pillows I've re reviewed, is they sewed it right onto the removable topper, which is super cool. Um, so once you pull your pillow out, you can throw that stuff sack right inside, and then just go ahead and continue to blow it up, and you don't even notice it. It's super convenient, and then once you're done with your pillow, pull it straight out, stuff sack's ready to go, and then you can just continue to Put your pillow away, folds up nice and easy. Just continue to stuff it in there. And I really like the ease of having it all in one place so I'm not looking for that stuff sack later on. The comfort of this pillow really did kind of let me down. Um, as you can see, it still has like that kidney bean shape that the Trekology 1 and 2 did have, but it's not quite as defined. And the baffling system on this one really wasn't as comfortable. I don't know exactly what it is or why they decided to switch up the baffling system, but it doesn't really cradle your neck or give you that support that the other, other models did have. Um, one of my complaints on the original Trackology pillows was they didn't have that removable cover. So the Deluxe Edition does come with a very soft, lightweight, removable cover. The quilting fabric on the top is really comfortable and soft to the touch, so it feels really nice against your face. Um, but just the overall comfort, when you're laying your head on this pillow, it feels more like air mattressy. Um, it doesn't give you that nice cradling cushion. You can hear the air like when you move your head side to side, which was a little disappointing after the great comfort of the Trekology 1.0 and 2.0. I was excited to see that they continue to have that removable strap on here so you can attach it directly to your pad. You can attach it onto a hammock. Um, pretty much like I like hooking it around the bottom of my sleeping pad or around the bottom of my sleeping pad and pillow. I was happy to see that they still went with their button valve system. This is one of my favorite ways um, to inflate and deflate a sleeping pillow. It's super easy, very convenient. With one push, you can deflate your pillow super quickly. Um, and one more push, You can get your pillow blown up in about three to five breaths, depending how hard you're blowing, um, but the air doesn't come back out. So you just have those nice, nice breaths, getting the air in there, you can squeeze it, no air is leaking back out. So that's really convenient. I love that feature on the pillows. I really like the cover, I like the latching system, I like the one button air valve. However, overall, I was not super impressed with the additions that Trekology made to this deluxe version. I would personally way rather stick with the 2.0. It had the nice latching system um, and also the easy valve. So overall, that's my top choice um, when it comes to the Trekology 1.0, 2.0, and the deluxe model. I have also included those in the description if you wanted to check out either of those pillows as well. 
Again, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned and see which pillow comes out on top of my list for the best backpacking pillow for your needs and your budget. Remember, why live a little when you can live a lot?